Hey guys, welcome to my 2015 favourites video packed with more makeup and anything else than I think I've ever talked about in a video. This is everything that I cannot live without um, and yeah, pretty much self-explanatory. So I'm going to start because there's so much and I'm going to start with makeup um, and the first things that I want to talk about, I'm like delving into the biggest pot ever, um, is foundation. A couple of the bits I've got more than one because I couldn't choose. The first one had to be my Chanel Vitalumia Aqua Foundation. This is something I've used for a couple of years. It's high-end, but it's really good. The coverage is light to medium, but it's buildable. It's a slightly dewy effect, but really nice if you have combination skin, and that's what I have, so I love using this as a day-to-day -day foundation. As more of an evening foundation, it has to be my Clarins True Radiance. This is something I've been using probably for the past two or three months. I've always liked Clarins foundations, but the True Radiance one is a little bit more dewy than I'm used to, and I really like the finish on my skin. I love the fact that Clarins foundations have quite a lot of plant extracts in so they smell quite nice this has SPF 15 in as well and again the shade range for Clarins is really amazing so you can usually find one that matches your skin um, exactly and then for a drugstore one again something that I go to probably for the evening time I've picked the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin foundation and this is in nude this has SPF 20 I really like this when it came out because the idea behind it was that it kind of had everything in it like a primer enough to kind of set your makeup be quite a medium I would say to heavy um, foundation finish um, and it just leaves my skin really flawless it probably doesn't last as long as the Clarins one but it really helps minimize my pores um, and your skin is meant to look better after three weeks and I have to say I love my skin when I'm wearing that onto powders to set those my powder of the year has to be my studio fix by Mac um, and this is my go-to powder. I carry this around in my handbag. It's basically a foundation um, in a powder, but it sets it, your makeup, but also gives you extra coverage. Again, the shade range is amazing at MAC, so you can exactly get the powder you want, um, and it just makes your skin look flawless. A drugstore one that's slightly less coverage, I've picked my Rimmel Stay Matte, um, and you can see how battered and used this one is. The shade range isn't as good as the MAC, the coverage isn't as good as the MAC, but if I'm looking for a kind of day-to-day, -day, really quick, on-the-go, um, cheaper powder, then this has to be um, one that I love. Um, okay, moving on to like bronzers and blushes. My blush, I've only picked one this year, and this is my MAC Gingerly, and I have a feeling I put this in my 2014 favourites. It's a very like autumnal, wintery, colour but I actually wear this in the summer as well because it gives me really nice definition on my cheeks. I'm not very good at contouring so when I wear this it just gives me that definition. And then for a couple of bronzers I've chosen my Clarins Bronzing Duo which again I've been using probably for the past six months or so and it's just a beautiful light, this is 01 light bronzing powder. If you're quite pale like me um, and you don't like bronzers that are too dark or orangey this is a really nice subtle bronzer with not too much glitter in and then something that I really fell in love with this year um, was actually by Next to make me beautiful and this is a makeup range that I discovered this year I didn't even realize Next did makeup and I talked about this being a dupe for this is actually their bronzer for the Bobbi Brown palette similar to this it's really pigmented, it's really beautiful, it looks so stunning on your cheek, cheek line, um, and you can highlight with it. I use this as an eyeshadow as well, so it's so multi-use, it's so affordable. I really like Next Makeup, and that was one of my kind of 2015 fall in love with, um, discover their makeup. Okay, on to concealers, because I have got a lot of concealers, um, and you know I'm a concealer girl. Um, so first of all, with my high-end ones, this is my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I discovered this this year, and I feel like everyone had been talking about it, and I hadn't tried it. I really like the application. I really like the fact that it doesn't crease. I really like the finish of this. Um, I love it. And then my Bobbi Brown Concealer and Corrector as well. I use these together. These are really thick. They're not going to budge. They give me so much, like, flawless coverage. This is like my evening go-to, absolute staple. This is probably my favourite concealer out of the ones that I'm talking about. Um, and then as a drugstore one, I've got my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser. Um, I have this one on today. I really like putting this on because it's in the sponge and it goes on so easily. There's loads of product on it. 
I just really like it. Um, the shade range isn't amazing for these, but I seem to be getting on with this one, and I really, really love the finish of this one in photos. Okay, on to some eyes, and my mascaras had to be... Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I discovered this this year. It's really good if you love big, black, spidery lashes and it just builds, it lengthens, and that's pretty much the same as the three that I've chosen. I could not whittle these down. Too Faced is just my favorite, it's so good. My second one was Benefit They're Real, which again is very similar. I really like the wand on this though, um, because it really helps separate my lashes better than the other ones that I've got. Um, and I use the end of this, I love the end of this one to really build the product on as well. And then finally, surprise, surprise, Tarte Lights Camera Flashes. It's so good, you can now get Tarte on QVC, which I didn't realize until this year, so I feel like I've been using a lot more Tarte stuff. This again is so good at lengthening, building your lashes. They almost look like false lashes when you've got this on. If you spend about five minutes putting this on, then it's amazing. Okay, on to more stuff. I feel like I've got so much to get through. Eyebrows then, um, this is really tricky to do, but I chose my Anastasia Brow Wiz, which again is the little brush on the end and then the pencil so you can fill in your brows. And it's really good because you can find your exact eyebrow shade and it's really helped me to actually get a bit of definition on my brows because you know how much I hate doing it. Um, and then also, oh, my brows, where is it? Here it is. My Benefit Gimme Brow, which is just a wand. It's almost like a mini mascara. It's super easy if you're in a rush just to put this product on and to really it's also like a gel as well so it's going to set your brows in place not just give you color but set it and I really love this product by Benefit it's probably one of my favorite things that they do okay a few more bits for the eyes an eyeliner and I've picked my Tarte Amazonian color clay eyeliner um, and this is an aubergine and I really love Tarte eyeliners because they don't budge I have a huge problem with eyeliners smudging and this is one of the only ones that doesn't do that for me it's why I don't really wear a lot of eyeliner I don't have it on today and I don't really like doing it in tutorials because I'm not very good at it and it smudges um, but this one is a really good one and it genuinely lasts like all day and they have a really good shade range because black just doesn't suit me okay on to lips I'm a lip gloss girl but I have picked a lipstick and my red lipstick is my max factor ruby Tuesday it's something that I've really loved doing for you guys in tutorials particularly my get ready's with me it's such a striking red it's so beautiful if you're going to an event it just really stands out I love the application of it, it feels really moisturising when it goes on and it's just my go-to red but I'm a gloss girl as you know so the two glosses I've picked out is my Lip Perfected by Topshop um, this is really really nice, it smells really vanilla -y. it's really creamy, it's so easy to go on with the sponge it's incredibly glossy and I've loved kind of getting to know Topshop makeup this year so this probably has to be my favourite bit in the range I carry that around me all the time and then my Soap and Glory Sexy Mother Pucker the packaging changed this year, this is the nudist one, it smells of vanilla, the smell is the same, you get less product which slightly annoyed me um, but I really really love this and it's cheaper as well now um, and it's just a really nice everyday buildable balm, it's so glossy, I have it on now and I really love wearing this, I do prefer the old packaging but I still love the fact it's the same product so I'm really glad it didn't change. Nail polishes, I'm whizzing through it all, um, as my colour I chose Ciarte, the Olivia Palermo collab that they did and this is the corally one and my Hort Vacation Coral Nantucket, I think that's right. I um, love this formula, it's different to the normal Ciate nail polish formulas in a sense that it lasts longer, um, it's just nicer to put on, the finish I think is a bit better and it's incredible as a nail polish. This stayed on me for seven days without chipping and I really loved this when it came out and I'm savouring it, I love it so much. And as a top coat I had to go for my sash feet, something that I discovered this year. I paint my nails, I put this on, 30 seconds later I can just carry on doing what I'm doing and my nails don't smudge. I have never tried a 60 second dry that actually works and Sesh Feet has changed the game for me in nail, nail painting because I can actually get on with things. Um, oh I forgot as well, my primer had to be my Illamasqua um, matte primer. I think I did this last year, it's my 2014. It's really good if you have combination skin because I tend to, my makeup dries up at the end of the day and this keeps my skin incredibly moisturised and just holds everything everything in place but it doesn't break me out because it's a matte primer so it's very very good if you have combination skin like me. My Naked 2 Urban Decay, how could I forget you? This is my go-to palette 
full of neutrals and nudes. I know everyone talks about this all the time, but it is genuinely probably the best pigmentation eyeshadow. Every time someone asks me what to buy for eyeshadows, I always recommend Urban Decay, and the Naked 2 is my favourite because I love the colours. Okay, on skincare, my cleanser, Aurelia Miracle Cleanser. This is probiotic skincare, so it's obviously really good for you because it's probiotic, packed with loads of amazing, nice ingredients, including chamomile, rosemary, eucalyptus. The smell is incredible. This is a brand I discovered this year. This cleanser has won so many awards. You put it on, it melts all your makeup off, but it just feels so good on your skin. Um, it's definitely something I invest in skincare, and I would recommend you guys too. And this has been my yearly favourite. This is my third tub of this, and it's just beautiful to put on and pull all your makeup off. Exfoliator, again, this is fairly expensive, but so well worth spending your money. This is the Gold Fadden MD Doctor's Scrub, and it's Ruby Crystal Microdermabrasion. It's a very coarse scrub, and it's something that at first I had to get used to, and now I'm hooked to it. It really gets rid of every dry skin, um, bit of dry skin on my face. I've never had an exfoliator that has exfoliated anywhere near like this, and my skin has really improved um, in terms of looking brighter, I think, from using it. A serum is a drugstore one that I listened to you guys when I asked you what to get and you told me to go into Superdrug and get their Simply Pure Hydrating Serum. This is actually empty but I wanted to talk about it in the video. It's only a couple of pounds and it's probably one of the best serums I have. It leaves my skin so moisturised, um, it's fragrance free. It just feels really good when it goes on and my skin has been really bouncy with it on and I can't believe it's that price. So this has been my go-to serum and I probably wouldn't spend my money at the moment on anything else until I find something that rivals it. Um, and then of course there had to be some Cordially in here. This is their Beauty Elixir. Again, a brand I had already heard of this the year before but I feel like this year I've really tried everything and I wanted to say that the Beauty Elixir is my 2015 favourite as a toner, a face spray. It's made from grape extract so it's incredibly good for your skin and it just makes your skin look quite glowy. Um, I love it, it's such a beautiful product and I don't know how I'd live without as a travel size. As a face mask, I've chosen my mask bar cream mask. This is a pore refining mask. Again, something I discovered this year. I love the fact they're in sachets and this is so easy to put on it's really moisturising, it's packed with goodness and antioxidants, so it just makes your skin feel so good when you take it off, and it actually just makes my skin look a lot smoother as well, but the sachet bit I love. Finally, for the night moisturisers, I've got my Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate, which is a dry oil. It smells of lavender, but don't worry, if you've got combination skin, it's not going to break you out, it actually balances the oil out, so it's incredibly good if you've got oily skin, at kind of helping problem areas. And then for my night moisturiser, I've chosen my first A Beauty Ultra Repair Hydrofirm Sleeping Cream, which again was new for me this year, and I loved the day cream version of this, the night cream even better. I sleep in this, it's so moisturising, my skin is so soft when I wake up in the morning, doesn't really smell of anything, so it's good if you don't like strong smells, but just so good, I wear that every single night. And then my day cream, you know what it's going to be. It wouldn't be anything else. Um, it's the Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Cream. One of my favourite skincare brands. I have loved them for years. This is one of the ones they did after 25 years. Their limited edition pot. I wear this every day. It's so smoothing and firming and just gorgeous. It's like satin on your skin. I've always said how luxurious this is. It's my go-to moisturiser. I love it. It makes my skin look so much better in the daytime and I really love that product. It's so worth investing in LMS skincare because I love it. Okay, on to um, some hair care. First of all, some drugstore um, shampoos and conditioners and I chose my Head & Shoulders Thick & Strong. These are obviously anti-dandruff but what I love about these is that it just actually makes my hair look so much thicker. Um, it really helps the condition of my hair. It looks so much better when I've used it and I struggle with sensitive scalp sometimes or flakes so it obviously helps to keep me flake free um, and it's something that I love. I just really, really, really like. I think the Thick and Strong is probably the favourite one for me that Head and Shoulders do. And then as a more kind of high-end one, this is my Aveda Damage Remedy. I love this range and to be honest I'd recommend the whole range of this from Aveda. But this is the treatment and it just really helps strengthen your hair. I love the smell of Aveda. It's beautiful 
packed with plant extracts and goodness. They're very natural. I love that about Veda and I really love their products. Um, and then onto styling ones. I've got a protein spray by Label M, which I talked about before as being really good um, at helping you to grow your hair. So you're basically spraying protein onto um, your hair and it's really helped me to grow my hair. Also for thickness, I've chosen my Nioxin Dye Boost. This is a thickening treatment. Um, it's incredibly good if you've got hair loss or you just want thicker hair or more hair. It is quite expensive, but it works so well. You can feel it tingling on your scalp. And if I use that for four weeks, my hair is so much thicker and longer by the end of using it. And then as a styling cream, I've chosen my L'Oreal Paris Elvive Total Repair Cream, Total Repair 5 Cream. And this is beautiful. This has been a styling cream that I use on wet and dry. I probably use this for the past four or five months and it's something I carry around with me. It just makes my hair feel so soft um, and I really, really love it. So this is my, again, third one. You can tell what I use a lot of. But this is my hair curling one that I wanted to talk about. My Cloud 9 one, um, which has been my go-to hair curler. It's about £89, but it's really good at giving you soft, natural curls that stay all day long and I have fallen in love with that as my kind of hair tool. And then body, my perfume is my Ghost Eclipse perfume. This is pretty much finished. I love this, this is a really nice floral kind of fresh smell. It's a really lovely perfume. I've finished it all because it's so good. It lasts for me all day. Some more Bath and Body. The Body Shop, I feel, I there are so many things that I've loved from the Body Shop this year. I found it so hard to choose, which is my favourite. But when they bought out their Spa of the World range, I have to say that's my favourite. And I've chosen the Polynesian Manoi Radiance Oil, which is just beautiful. They sourced ingredients from all around the world. They smell incredible. It's very spa-like. And this is the Body Oil, which I put on almost every night. And it's just a beautiful product. I love their spa range. Saint Tropez Tan. How could I have a favourites without this? This is their dark bronzing mousse, which is my favourite one to use. It's easy to go on. It looks really good. Okay, tan doesn't smell amazing, but let's face it, you've got to spend the money on the tan because you don't want to look orange. So Saint Tropez had to be my winner. Oh, Sally Hansen airbrush legs. This is, I feel like this is probably in my last year one as well. This is basically makeup, airbrush makeup for your legs. Spray it into your hands, put it on your legs, and you'll legs literally look airbrush. You don't have to wear tights. It gets rid of cellulite. Well, not gets rid of it, but covers it up. Any red marks, it's incredible. It's quite messy to use, but it's really good. Bit of bath and body then. I've got my um, Aussie No Rush Body Wash. This has been my go-to body wash this year, and this is just so nice. It's so affordable, and they smell incredible. They're quite sweet, and I really like that. They've been so good for me, just every morning having a shower and using these, and it just makes a big difference in my morning when I I've got a shower gel that smells so good. It lathers up really well. I've been using that all the time. And then last two bits, Oral-B 3D white, white strips. I whitened my teeth this year and this has been the best product that I've used for my teeth and I love them and I'm so excited they're here now in the UK. I did a video on this recently telling you all about how I whitened my teeth and they are so good. You have to get them from your dentist here in the UK but they are incredible and hopefully my teeth are whiter so I've really enjoyed using them this year and I'm definitely gonna be using them in a year's time when it's time to freshen them up again. And then last but not least, this works deep sleep pillow spray and this is something I've had for about three months now. My mum recommended it. I find it very difficult to sleep at night and this has really helped to calm me down and just help me fall asleep quicker. It smells of lavender. It just really helps to de-stress me. I spray this on my pillow and I feel so content and relaxed and it really has been a go-to product for me just keeping really calm this year and making this year slightly less stress-free when I go to bed. Wow, that was a lot of stuff. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, thank you so much for all your support this year as well. I cannot wait for 2016 and I cannot wait to find more beauty products. Tell me in the comments what your favorite 2015 product has been for you guys. Last video I did my winter weekend routine where I got all Christmassy and wintry with my mum. So go and click on that video and I will see you guys next time. Bye. To be a winter weekend routine video for me, my favorite weekend in the winter is always going to London to visit the Christmas lights. It's something I do every year and it just gives me